Hello and welcome to my watch reviews and this video is all about this beautiful looking chronograph watch by Bolton that you can see in front of you now. Got a lovely vintage vibe. So of course I'm going to get all macro on this one. We're going to take it out the case, put it on the microscope, see the dial uh, up close and personal, perhaps have a look at the hands too. And then while we're there we'll have a look as well at what is actually powering it. I'll show you all the specs, specifications, all angles of this watch and then I will give you the pros and cons to owning it. So let's crack on. Actually, before I crack on, just for disclosure, Boltony have sponsored this video. They've sent me this watch. I don't have to send it back, but I will be giving it my complete and utter honest appraisal. So far, I've been really impressed with Boltony and what they're doing. I've reviewed, I think, three of their watches. I've been very, very pleased by what I'm seeing. And to be fair, I'm pleased again with this particular watch. However, I'm going to start with a negative. When I heard the word homage uh, on this one, I thought it was a nod to a watch from a long time ago. Actually, turns out it's part of the Longines Heritage series, and this is pretty much like for like. And that does rub me up a little bit the wrong way. I think you've got to at least add a little bit of your own flair. So definitely a negative. However, the Longines is over £300,000 and this one is considerably cheaper. And by considerably cheaper, I mean considerably cheaper. This one is coming in, as you can see here, at US dollars. That's around about £122. Um, and up here, look, you've got a coupon. Get $6 off as well, brings it down even more. Admittedly, there will be some uh, import taxes uh, in your country and possibly, and I mean possibly because I've not done the research, it could be a little bit cheaper again on AliExpress. So you're getting a lot of looks for not a lot of money. So with that bit out of the way, let's really get into detail. This really is a beautiful dial in my opinion. As much as the design is not there, it's just look at it. I think the the two sub dials there at nine and three there's something about that layout for me personally that i like makes it look very vintage but then i guess it is really from a vintage design uh, it's also got a lot of class bit of elegance very much a dress style watch as well uh, looking from the outside inwards then so we have a tachyometer uh, track which is great it's very bold isn't it it's quite wide uh, so you can clearly read it. There is a slight distortion as well around the edge where the crystal is, but I kind of like that effect, to be honest with you. You've almost got a millisecond and then a second scale there, uh, followed then by the uh, Arabic numerals uh, to complete how to tell the time, of course. Uh, hands are beautiful. Uh, the sub hands and the second hand there is also uh, blued. Not too sure whether it's proper true heated blue, though. However, that can't detract from it because it is only $149, so you can't expect absolute perfection, I don't think. Um, I have been really drawn to this watch since it's arrived. I have not stopped wearing it, and that's the honest truth. I really do like this design a lot. The case is solid stainless steel. The bottom part of the case is all highly polished, as you can see there with the lugs and stuff. The bezel itself is brushed. And look closely at that bezel, it is a stepped bezel. Now, I've seen this before on a San Martin. I didn't like it then. I don't actually like it now. However, the watch this is homaging uh, also has it as well. But I am a little bit on the fence because that general design attracts dirt. And I found just trying to make this video for you guys, that bezel in particular gathers dust and bits and pieces. And it's quite difficult to keep it clean. Uh, I prefer a much smoother or tapered uh, bezel than we've got there. But please give me your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment below. I'd be interested to know whether you think the same or not. And equally, when you're down there, please hit the thumbs up and I'll subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying this video so far. It means a lot. And here we have all of the controls. We have the start, stop pusher, the reset pusher and a very large unsigned screw down crown uh, it's screw down the watch is only offering 50 meters of water resistance though i do love the shape of those pushers uh, again it's not their own but i do still like them all of the same now i will show the operation of the chronograph shortly in the video 
uh, just to sort of finish off this segment though there is no loom on this watch so I cannot give you a loom shot there is a little bit of AR coating on that crystal just in case you're wondering here's the chronograph in action you should hear that uh, very satisfying click of the button run that for a few seconds then we'll press stop and reset and now we'll start it again but this time we'll take it up to 30 seconds bit of fast forward in here and then you can see at its furthest point how fast the flyback is and there you go it is pretty instantaneous very good flip the watch over and I'm yawning because we've got a very sterile and boring case back we have a genuine leather strap you can see there it's actually quite thick it doesn't need any breaking in it's remarkably supple I have to say it seems that all boltiness that I've seen so far come with the same leather strap it's a nice brushed buckle but it's not signed either okay let's size this one up and we're getting 39.1 on the diameter anything under 40 for me is great this one is 12.6 mil thick 46 millimeters a lug to lug which is great and the lug width is a strap pleasing 20 millimeters and this is what it looks like on my 7 inch or 18 centimeter wrist absolute beauty look at that that's great so the compromise on the price is you get a quartz movement but it is a Seiko Mecha Quartz VK64 that means that when you click the chronograph to start you're going to get a sweeping uh, seconds hand up here is the stem release in case you ever want to remove it and that there is an AC which is for when you change the battery you use the positive terminal of the battery uh, with some tweezers and you put the other bit in the AC and that will short circuit and make the thing work properly often missed by people sometimes changing batteries I've seen it more than once well I promised you some uh, microscope shots at the start of the video so here we go uh, what are we looking for on a $149 watch maybe just some imperfections or some scratches or dodgy printing so far I can't really see any what I really do like is that minute track I didn't actually notice that you got like there 30 seconds 35 seconds and all the milliseconds in between I can't see that with my naked eye but then that's why I have to wear glasses um, yeah printing is great I do like the contrasting blue on the uh, tachymeter scale there as well did you see any imperfections let's have a quick look at the hands now obviously the hands are shiny normally but all the reflection is coming back at us unfortunately just try to look down the center post see if there's anything there but no once again very clean they're very good in their factory clearly here is one thing though I can see Apart from looking at how blued the hands are, here's a bit of Rodico. I see a bit of an imperfection. And I thought it was a bit of a dust particle, but clearly it's not. It's ingrained to the hand. Again, not visible by the naked eye, but at least I found something that I could moan about on the dial. <laughs> and finally, the watch comes in this travel case. Uh, it's very secure. Watch is sealed in a bag there, as you can see. Uh, you also get your warranty card it's a two-year warranty I cannot vouch for their warranty I've got no dealings with that you can see it is dated you have an instruction booklet in case you know how to use a watch there is a polishing cloth and there's a spring bar tool that really I wouldn't particularly use and to summarize then well what do I think I think it offers tremendous amount of uh, value for money the watch looks absolutely beautiful on the wrist and if you bought this you would be really really happy my gripes of course are well it's just a completely borrowed design from start to finish which is a real shame and i'm not too keen on that stepped bezel as well um, but yeah that's all i can moan about really uh, it is a great looking watch and i think if any of you went to buy this one you'd be extremely happy there will be a link down below to boltonese website i suggest you go and have a look at that i will try and find it on aliexpress because it might be a little bit cheaper uh, the aliexpress link would be affiliated boltony website is not affiliated at all so um there we go leave your comments i'd be very interested to hear what you've got to say on this one good or bad i will uh, try to reply to as many as i can of course uh, give it a thumbs up uh, 
give me a subscription if you have enjoyed this video of course plenty more to come thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next one very soon bye for now